Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Alex. Uh, I'm going to do my third and final binder review for the day, uh, possibly for a while. You never know. Um, and this binder is the uh, Onec, uh, let me see what it's what it's technically called, the Onec Verklor or Versler Tape Long Cut in White, item number D17W. It is from Double T or My Double or Double Collection. Um, it is $84. It has the list price as $90.60, but on sale for $84 even. Um, now, it said somewhere that that includes shipping. I'm not sure about that. I um, can't remember. But uh, this is uh, very similar to the 998 that I just reviewed from Underworks. It's an O neck design. It does not have sleeves, um, which is a little bit different. Uh, also, it doesn't have that mesh material. It is a spandex and lycra material, or lycra. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a very expensive binder. Shipping takes about a month. Um, their customer service was hard to communicate with. They are from Singapore, so they had broken English. Uh, some of the questions that I had, they did not answer. Um, I did order a extra large, I believe, which is what size they suggested for me, uh, being uh, roughly a 38C. I uh, got the extra large, and like I said, it took about a month. Uh, which is not good whenever you pay $80 for a product. Um, but yeah, it uh, comes in a nice kind of discreet packaging. Uh, basically, it, it looks like this, and it's just, you know, EMS speed post. Seatbelts are sexy, by the way. That's what just flew out of here. Um, and it says that it's from Double Design Company. Uh, the contents, it just says clothes, so it doesn't say binder or vest or anything like that. Uh, medical vest, compression vest. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the shirt, show you what it looks like in the button-up and without any shirt on, and uh, you can compare it to the Underworks one in my other video. Um, this is what it looks like underneath the t-shirt. Um, as you can tell, it's not that flat, actually. Um, so I hope I didn't get you too excited for anything. Um, here it is from the side, from this side. Um, back, I don't know if you can see anything, um, so yeah, that's what it looks like with this. Give me just a second, I'm going to throw on my button up right here, and, uh, you can see what it looks like with that. Alright, so here it is under the, uh, button up, and you can tell it, it's, it doesn't seem as flat to me as the Underworks one does. Um, here it is on the side, you can actually see my chest instead of me having to go like that, you know. Um, so here's this, uh, same thing with the O-neck right here, so it does just look like an undershirt, great for polo, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, as far as wearing it just under a shirt without having it buttoned up, um, I can already see the problem with that. Um, it definitely creates a line right here, um, I will show you this, I will talk about it more whenever I go over the binder without a shirt on. Uh, there is a logo on it, but nobody would know what it is. It's just two little T's. You can see right there. So, just right on your uh, left chest. But, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting it on just as an undershirt. Um, at least not for me. So here it is, in all of its uh, bad glory. Um, you know, and, and you can tell. it's. It looks like I have a chest. You can see the shadow from both sides here. Even if I back up from the light, it's not uh, directly above me now. Um, you know, you can see the, uh, the shadow there, it, it's cut so far forward that your extra chest tissue fat area kind of sticks out, you can see that. Um, maybe it's just because I have a little bit of extra fat on me, but especially when I do that, you can see these little things, and, and that's really awkward, so I'm going to try and cover this up now. Um, so, definitely looks like I have a chest, um, it's cut pretty far forward here, it's cut down here. The side's pretty far. The back, it's, it's got a pretty narrow back, so your shoulder blades can stick out if you can do that. I don't know. Um, I do give them this. It is the most comfortable binder I've ever put on. Uh, it's, it's, it is that soft material still on the outside. The inside is a dark gray material. Ignore my stomach. Uh, it's a dark gray material, so it doesn't have as many stains, I guess. Uh, which is also pretty nice. It's also pretty soft. Again, most comfortable binder I've ever put on. Uh, except for the Velcro, that's a little irritating, but you can just tell it's thicker there. Um, as long as you Velcro it right, you know, 
Um, it does have this circle right here, so that way you can Velcro it and it not look weird, I guess, which I kind of wish it all Velcroed over. Because um, that looks weird under a shirt, this kind of sticks out there. Um, so and you can see it right there if I move. Um, so yeah, this is this is what it looks like. Um, I I am not excited about this binder at all. I've actually been trying to get rid of it. Um, been trying to sell it. Uh, I did pay, you know, ninety dollars for it basically, and uh, not worth my money at all. Uh, I've been trying to sell it to somebody for uh, if I can get that much for it. I will let them try it on first. I'm not going to just try and throw it off on them and be like, here, you take this thing. It doesn't work. Uh, I have a couple of friends that need to try it on. Uh, they are smaller than me, they have smaller stomachs, so maybe that would work. Um, like I said, I don't know if maybe I needed a si size smaller. Uh, this isn't Velcroed all the way, it actually... Let's see if I can do this without showing some testicle here. It can get tighter, but I can't reach that far. Ah, that really hurt right here, actually. But, uh, so I got a little bit tighter. And that still doesn't really help much. There's, there's not much room for these to go since there's not that side area here and, and with that you could pull down and over but if I do that my nipple pops out on the side um, and, and that's about to happen so I've got to do that but uh, again it is the most comfortable binder you would ever put on but maybe that's because it doesn't work as well um, if you are smaller chested and you can order a smaller size uh, I did talk to them about wanting to change sizes I wanted to exchange for a large instead of an extra large and they said, well, if you want to return it, you have to pay for shipping on it, which is $20. Um, but yeah, it's just, I mean, you can see it looks like I have boobs, um, which is not the point of these. Uh, again, most comfortable binder you will ever put on. Uh, so if you want comfort over functionality, by all means, go for it. Um, if you have the $84 to throw out the window. But yeah. If I were to buy it, it would cost $40 for the Underworks binder, and it works 20 times better than this one. So don't order from this company. Um, I would not suggest it. They did release a new generation. This was the uh, Lyric Revest 2, and they have a 3 out now. I have not looked at that, uh, but I know that they're, uh, they're $90, not $84. Um, probably the same basic thing. Um, yeah, it's just, they, they have, there's somebody that did a review on uh, both of them and so that they were decent binders and things like that and so I went ahead and I saved up for it and everybody knows my financial situation is not well off at all um, and I saved and I saved and I saved and I finally got it and it was probably one of the biggest disappointments of my life um, that's why I had no expectations for the Underworks one and then it blew my mind um, so yeah that's all I really have to say about this one is I went and get it um, I will let you guys know if I find somebody with a smaller chest that it can work with, uh, somebody that's maybe smaller than me. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I'll let you all know. But as of right now, I wouldn't buy it. I, you could not give me the $80 and say, here, go buy this. Um, I'd much rather spend it on two Underworks binders. So, um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, uh, you, can, you can ask me. I meant to put uh, a, a clip of me without a binder on, but... One, I'm not really comfortable with that, and two, um, I don't know if it really matters. I've told you what size I am, roughly. Um, so yeah, uh, any anything else, just let me know. Um, I tried to, you know, not be too great, silly with this. I tried to keep it nice and, and a little professional, but I, I, I'm a humorous person, what can I say? Um, so I'm going to edit these videos probably later tonight. I have to go eat dinner now um, and, and, you know, get these reviews up. I just am really disappointed by this real expensive binder. That is the uh, it's the second uh, big purchase I've made uh, as far as my transition goes that I've been upset with. Um, like I said, the Underworks binders range anywhere from thirty to thirty-five dollars, and this was ninety. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if anybody has bought this binder and has a good review for it, let me know. If anybody wants to buy this binder from me, let me know. I live in Missouri, so if you don't live close to Missouri, it won't work. Uh, Kansas City area, too. St. Louis and Kansas City area, uh, where I go to school and where I live. So Anybody that wants it, um, I'm willing to sell it for a good deal. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. Um, that's all I have to say about this one. Is 
and the, oh, the other thing is that because it's cut so narrow in the back, it looks very much like a sports bra when it's on underneath a shirt. So, yeah. But uh, anyway, I have a scar right there, and it makes it look like I have a really big dent in my chin. Okay, that's besides the point. I am going to get off here and uh, go eat some dinner and then edit some videos. Um, all right. Good luck on your binder hunt. I hope it helped you out a little bit. And uh, don't, don't, don't buy this one. Um, all right, see ya.